Welcome back, everybody. This episode of Zack Raids His Movies for Halloween brought to you by the letter B. I made the Sesame Street reference yesterday. I thought it was kind of funny, so I'm going to stick with it until I hear otherwise. So we've done the numbers and symbols. Yesterday was A, so we're going to move right on to B. And I have another pair of Halloween-y horror-type movies to throw out to you. And if you remember yesterday when I was speaking about Army of Darkness, I brought up the point that I firmly believe that Bruce Campbell is a national treasure. Continuing on with that thought, I present the first of the pair, Bubba Hotep. I don't know how many people have even heard of Bubba Hotep, but one, it is, it's a comedy horror, absolutely hilarious. Uh, came out in 2002, directed by Don Coscarelli, he of Phantasm fame. Stars um, Bruce Campbell as a retired Elvis Presley, living in a retirement home somewhere down, I believe, in Texas? I don't know if they ever actually said where. But the subplot of that is... He is the real Elvis, and he had traded places with an Elvis impersonator who was the Elvis that died on the toilet back in, I believe, what was it, 1977 Elvis died? But he switched with him because he was tired of the, the life and just lived a quiet life, and now he's in a nursing home. Uh, also stars the late, great Ozzie Davis, who in his state in the nursing home, thought he was President Kennedy. And during the autopsy, they had replaced his brain with a bag of sand. Anyway, quick plot of the movie. It's a bunch of people in the retirement home, and they're being stalked by an Egyptian mummy, whom they call Bubba Hotep. And he, the mummy needs souls to live. So he's going through the retirement home, taking the souls of the elderly. But because they're the elderly and don't have much time left, he doesn't get much power out of them. So he has to constantly feed. So he has to work, through the, work his way through the nursing home or retirement home, whichever you would like to call it. It's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And... I, I can't recommend it enough. They, there had been rumors for years that they were going to do a sequel, uh, Bubba Nosferatu, but that never came to pass. Part of me is sad, but part of me is glad because sometimes you don't mess with the classics. So we're going to move Bubba over here. Oh, that's my coffee beeping. It is early in the morning as I do this. And we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one is moving up into the category, and oh, I didn't even mention, we have a new guest. We have my little alien reaction figures. Can't remember where that came from. I think it was part of one of those monthly packs, one of the few good things I actually got from those before I decided it was a complete waste of money. So the alien will be joining us for a couple of videos. So I got distracted. I apologize. So now we're going to move into the category of, well, this is going to give you an idea of what I am. I present to you Black Sheep, not the Chris Farley, David Spade heartwarming comedy. This is, I just have to show you the artwork. This is probably my favorite picture of all time, the sheep with the foot in its mouth. This is a 2006 New Zealand Comedy horror. Emphasis on the comedy. There is some horror. I mean, if you want to take... It's one of those movies, if you want to take an hour and a half, shut off your brain and just enjoy life, go for Black Sheep. And basically the gist of it is, I think it's kind of a thinly veiled reference to Dolly the Cloned Sheep from back in 1996. Uh, set in New Zealand where they're doing genetic experiments on sheep. And a bunch of activists accidentally, quote-unquote, release a mutant lamb. And as they're running away, said mutant lamb bites one of them and then goes out into a pen and attacks other sheep. And as you can see from the cover, 
chaos and possible hilarity ensues. Uh, it's, you know what? The tagline speaks for itself. If I can get it to, there you go. The tagline speaks for itself. That's something. Shut your brain off for an hour and a half. Give it a watch. And uh, you'll probably be sorry, but in the same vein, deep, 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 deep down, you'll be like, you know what, Zach? Thank you for that. So that's my pair of bees, Bubba Hotep, and the 2006 New Zealand black sheep. Alien approved, so blame the alien, not me. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Down in the comments, you know what to do. Let me know how ridiculous they are or how ridiculous I am for putting them out there. Uh, stay scared, stay safe. We will see you tomorrow for the letter C.